Thank you. It's a real pleasure for me to be here. And I was just thinking of the $100 billion. And uh, the African Development Bank estimates that Africa will be importing $110 billion worth of food per year if we don't transform our food systems. So my hope is that we can really fund nature-based solutions to bring local food security while ensuring biodiversity comes back. I'd like to thank you all and greetings to all attending in Luxembourg and everyone joining online globally. It's an honor to be with you at the sixth GLF Investment Case Symposium. What an incredible conference it has been. We've had an impressive turnout of 300 people in Luxembourg online. 4,000 people have joined us from 160 countries. We've heard from 106 change-making speakers, half of, whom, half of whom are women. And on social media, we've reached 10 million people with more than 230,000 engagements in the conversation about sustainable finance. These are no small figures. What they reflect is a shift in thinking about how we can solve global challenges and the critical role that finance sector can and must play. It's no secret that the pursuit of short-term financial gains has come at a devastating cost to our natural world. Our planet is in crisis. Blistering heat waves, extreme flooding, and scorching temperatures are becoming the norm in many parts of the world, hitting countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America the hardest. And women are on the front line of these crises. While wealthier countries have the resources to weather these changes, that's not often the case for poorer countries, but it doesn't have to be that way. Amid these immense challenges is the opportunity to solve problems together through global partnerships, alliances, knowledge sharing and action oriented platforms like what we've seen today. Most of those who shared their thoughts on the vision wall seem to agree that the current economic system cannot support life on earth, nor can it deliver environmental justice. We must think together about how to change the entire system. It's not about mobilizing finance, it's about inclusive finance and ensuring that everyone has access to it. As we learn today, we need to continue developing tried and tested as well as innovative financial instruments to mobilize new sustainable finance. Solutions in South Africa, Vietnam, Guatemala, and Madagascar, to name a few, show how we can mainstream good practices and lessons learned. They show how we can invest in community-led projects that protect nature, address the needs and challenges different regions and communities face in a nuanced way, and support local stakeholders. And important programs like the International Comet Finance Accelerator show us that with the right support and technical assistance, we can significantly increase the number of climate investment funds. We also learned that harnessing local, national, and regional markets through, among other things, developing collectives, identifying new markets, and diversifying revenue streams, we can change the still dominant globalized North-South trade model. Lastly, we still critically need to secure corporate finance to ensure scalability in nature-based investments. I am positive that by facilitating knowledge sharing between financiers, indigenous peoples, global leaders, and local communities, and supporting women, we can overcome our greatest challenges. And that's what makes this conference in Luxembourg so important and unique. It brings so many people together from different backgrounds, giving us the opportunity to collaborate and share stories of obstacles overcome, lessons learned, and ways forward that build trust. This conference is also meant to catalyze implementation on the ground, whether it is nature-based solutions that need funding or commercially viable projects. The GLF is launching a process to identify more investable and community-led nature projects and connect both worlds with one another. New digital opportunities allow us to build these much needed bridges online like today, connecting participants in Luxembourg to local communities in Cameroon, Peru, El Salvador, Indonesia, and many more through hybrid networking and workshops. Just a day away from Women's Day on March 8th and the fourth annual GLF 16 Women Restoring the Earth campaign, it's clear that no real progress can be made unless we make it together. I want to thank the government of Luxembourg and Environment Minister Wolfring, as well as Finance Minister Bacchus for their support in making the Luxembourg GLF Finance for Nature platform a reality and for providing a platform to discuss increasing finance for nature globally. As I look around and I'm hopeful that the time for greenwashing and lip service is over, it's time for action. 
It's time for system change and it's time to push investment into innovative solutions de developed for countries that need it and by those impacted by these crises. I hope you leave this conference feeling inspired and I hope you made useful connections and I hope you are re-energized to keep pushing forward to find synergies and find better ways to do business. I'm ready and I know you are too. Let's keep the momentum and create a better future for our planet, for each other and for future generations. Thank you all for joining us today.